Hello everybody, this is Redacted Gaming, and welcome to the Redacted Podcast. I hope this doesn't already exist, or something even similar with the word Redacted in it. Oh, I need to check that. Anyway, Miles, welcome to the podcast. I'm uh, glad to be here today. Oh no! There's what? a podcast called Redacted Tonight with 140,000 subscribers. Uh, We're fucking dying. Wait, maybe not, maybe not, yeah. maybe not. What is it? Oh, it's like a- uh, Oh shit, dude. This guy's okay. It's not a podcast. It's like a talk show. Damn, dude. That's uh. That's not good. That is not good. We well, you know what? They can't stop us. They're not a gaming channel, yeah, and no one they're cares. Gonna copyright strike. Us. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, redacted gaming. Yeah. The redacted podcast is better than redacted tonight. Is there anything else redacted yeah. besides a redacted board game? And redacted. Yeah. Bo2. My, what the fuck? My is old that? YouTube thing was uh what Critical next? Hunter, but there's a famous YouTuber called Critical. Oh, okay, cool. How do I get all Black Ops 2 to redacted? What is redacted Black Ops 2? I don't even care. I'm the best one. Who cares what they say? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're the master race. Yeah, of course. So, this podcast, it was a quick idea that me and Miles had. Mainly, it was all my idea, but Miles is here to help out, and we're going to make this the best that we can make it. So, um, yep. there might be some, some audio mess ups, but that's, you know, who cares about that? Honestly. It's our first one, so yeah. I mean, it's bound to be. You know, that, those, those 20 viewers, up. those 20 viewers out there, feel free to uh, comment. Um, and, oh, I can hear it right now. And uh, feel free to just critique us, because if you, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it'll make me feel better. I'll feel better about it. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. we had a pretty, pretty nifty, unique, never before seen idea um, that we're going to execute tonight. It's called Topics to Talk About. That's, that's, the, that's the segment. Um, oh, geez, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna mute. Oh, oh, oh! Miles is muted for a second. So uh, the way this is gonna work is we're going to spin a wheel. Of course, it's not a real wheel because real wheels are large. I have a audio sound of a wheel here, and I also have a random wheel thing. That the, okay. The browser with the random wheel sounded terrible, so I, I decided to go ahead and not do that. So we have a simple spin the wheel sound here as well as some other neat hip sounds like air horns and cool stuff like that, things you like. And we also have a, yeah, and the wheel that we made has a random topic on it. There's like, I use a copy paste, there's like 200 topics on here. They're all pretty random, none of them are very specific, or, you know, they're just very general. And so, Miles, are you back? Yeah. Cool, uh, cool. Uh, um, I have an idea. Ooh, you ooh. should make this sound, you should make the sound, the CSGO case opening sound. Like, you like know, in the, the open case, it's like this. Uh, all yeah. right, all right. Okay, I'll actually... we, 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 we do play CSGO occasionally. We, we do. I used to play all the time, though. Yeah, Let's no. see if I can get the... I mean, like... A uh, wheel sound? Like a wheel? You know what's sad? I don't think I can get that. I don't see a way to no, get that. It only, took like me two, it. it only took me two hours to beat the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Well, that's pretty cool, buddy. That okay, so anyway, sad. besides that shitty thing that he was going to talk about. Let's let's do our thing. Let's spin the wheel, okay? So I want you to go, Miles, I want yeah. you to go, spin that wheel! Spin that wheel! Alright, spinning the wheel. Ooh, man, that's a good sound. Nice crisp audio file. Okay, so our topic today is ooh, this is this is an interesting one. 1992 election. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know anything about the night. Well, I'm gonna Google it real quick. I... <laughs> oh, this I, is uh, oh, this is Bill Clinton. Okay, is so that we, the Ra we are... Reagan Bush. No, no, this is Bill Clinton and uh. No, that's Bush. '84. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that that was definitely in the '80s. I I know that. So this is Bill Clinton versus George H. W. Bush Sr., who I went to his museum in uh, Southern Texas, where near the A and M campus. Very awesome museum. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and begin. Um, <laughs> I I have no background knowledge. Well, tell you what, I want you to I want you to argue why George H W Bush would have been a better reelect, and I'll argue why Clinton is better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, look. you're gonna have to give me some time to research. I know, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give understand. you some points right now, for right. you. Okay. Good. Good points. Uh, Bill right. Clinton chose to run as a candidate. He was a. He loved minorities. And, um, his political activist looks like a tomato. <laughs> and now, and okay, so that, um, that, that, that's what you have, and I have my stuff, which I have a Wikipedia page here. You can open it up if you want. So I'm supposed to defend, I'm supposed to, I'm, I'm on Bill Clinton's side. No, no, you're on, you're on Bush's side. I'm on Clinton's side. Okay. 
And you, you can't bring up anything that happened after 1992, even if you don't know if it did or did not happen before 1992. You know, it can't, can't come up. That, that's the whole point. So, um, I, I'm ready here. I am so ready. I am not ready. Okay, well, I'll begin. And um, we're each going to present an, an argument, and then we're going to kind of tell why our president was so great, or why, why he's a good pick, I, okay? I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, in the year 2000... Oh, this is after 1992. Damn it. Well, I'll bring it up anyway. So, the reason our president should be elected in 1992 is because in the year 2000, eight years in the future, Clinton will shake hands with Donald Trump at Trump Tower in June. And you tell me right now if that means that he's not qualified. Dude, and look, over here he's getting that, he's having that lady do the, do the BJs. Well, living in this, in this state of Texas, in this great state, this great, the great, great, great state of Texas. Yeah, yeah. Um... George W. George H. W. Bush, sorry, yeah. was voted by Texas to be the president. Well, now I'm a big fan of Texas. I don't know about you, you insurgent, uh -huh. Dumb, not liking Texas. Infidel. Um, you infidel. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now, see George H. W. Bush. He he was the he was a real real big man. He he was real big strong man. Okay. And um. Uh. Well, okay, close the arguments. That was pretty good. Uh, overall... <laughs> it was awful. Overall, uh, I gotta say, that was actually pretty much a draw, right? Like, I mean... Like, I mean, I don't think either one of us really won that one. That was pretty close. Okay, yeah, I agree. spin the wheel. Here we go. Let's spin... Spin that wheel. Thank you, Miles. Okay, we're gonna spin that wheel. That was pretty good. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 This is a good one. This is this is actually... This is gonna give us a, right. a, a doozy. What is it? Uh, Latin America. For th oh. Th Latin America like for this one. Like, uh, ancient Latin America or, like, no, modern La Latin, Latin America? America right now. All right, what, do you, what would you like to, I mean... Okay, first off, La okay, now, I'm going to be arguing pro-Latin America. You're going to be <laughs> arguing anti-Latin America, okay. Why am I getting on the bad ones? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with this, um, I'm going to present my opening point. Um, All right. Okay. Growing Republic. Oh wait, no. I didn't. I, this is something I know. Latin America. Uh, they are equally broad, growing, and support for the U.S. They love Cuba. Um, Cuba's great. I mean, Cuba's part of. Also, Latin um, let's see what we got here. Latin America is a group of countries and dependencies in the Americas where Romance languages are prominent. Okay, close my argument, right. Arthur. Go ahead. So, um, in in these current in these current uh last couple of months, there's been lots of um, lots of news going on around these countries, especially like Venezuela or stuff like that, where the taxes have been raising. Okay. Uh, for uh groceries and grocery store owners can't even own gro can't even own their stores anymore because it costs more to own the store than to sell all the groceries in their store. So mm -hmm. my thing is, I think. That the French and the British should have kept all those countries, and never, they never should have become independent. <laughs> <laughs> so then they'd never go through these problems. Oh, so keep them like as as, as like indentured slaves, so the uh, exactly to, to Europe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Modern slavery. I'm actually yeah. gonna be honest. That's actually that, that, that's a winning argument. Good job, buddy. I, I uh, I'm giving you the clap soundtrack. You can't hear it. I, you just I'm using clap what I can. You're using you. You got a clap soundtrack. You win. Okay. Thanks. Good job, right. buddy. Okay, let's new topic. That was fine. Miles, I need your help with this one. All right, spin that wheel. All right, spinning that wheel. Okay, let's see. Today, ooh, this one, this one, this one's good. This one's mm. really good. Uh, this one is about Sub-Saharan Africa. All right. Neat, neat. So, uh, you know what? Actually, I actually, I don't want us to do another land that we know nothing about. Let's go ahead and let's just spin. The, okay, say spin that wheel. One more time. Spin that wheel. All right, spinning that wheel. Okay, that, that wheel is spinning. Ooh, ooh, this one's good. This one is actually this one's actually pretty cool. I think we actually know a good deal about this one. No joke. Right. African Americans, we're going to be going. I'm gonna go okay, pro. No. You're gonna you're I gonna can't. you're gonna go you're gonna go no. you're gonna go anti Latin African Americans. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, look. I'm gonna pass. I'm okay. Gonna pass. Nearly eight in ten people say that this country's fallen further behind in federal budget deficits, far more than during the mid 1990s. 
why do you think that we should be taking away their jobs, Miles? <laughs> Tell me right now. The controversy of Trayvon Martin has highlighted issues relating to the treatment of blacks by local police departments, and you want to amp you want you monster. Well, that was that was a pretty good one. That was a I'm playing the air horn soundtrack. If you argue against me, you're racist. Let's spin that I wheel, okay? Let's just say it. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the actual what is wheel it this on time? the actual wheel on the device is not done spinning yet. Okay, cool. This is actually something interesting. Uh, voter participation. Ooh, okay. Okay, Actually, so yeah, yeah. let's not do pro or con anymore because it makes you racist like every yeah, time. Let's just, <laughs> every time. <laughs> let's just let's just uh let's just give us some opinions on this on voter participation. Well, I think that I'm I'm gonna go first. Uh, right. Just real quick, I have I have a thought in my head right now. Okay. Uh, over the last you know couple decades, since about the 1980s, the the younger people like the 18 year olds through about the 25 year olds yeah. have been voting less and less. Uh, over the years, especially in America, mm -hmm. in other countries it does happen. Other like other countries that have like uh, let's see, um, uh, Canada when they vote for their leader, I don't know if it's what is is it a prime minister? Like, I feel like it's it's an emperor. I feel like it's, I, I, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think prime minister of yeah, it's Canada when they vote for their prime minister. Um, they it, it, Canada's a little bit different because their their voting is um, <clears throat> people will actually do it that are 18 and up because they yeah. have a, like, a stricter policy on it or whatever mm -hmm. um but the people in our country nowadays are slowly going down the pe the older people that are like 30s and ups yeah. <clears throat> that can vote they usually all vote like within like a 0.2 percent range that don't vote mm -hmm. but it's all like the 18 year olds to the 25 year olds that see is my vote won't count yeah. uh my vote my vote's useless in this uh occasion I'm gonna get my. So, oh, oh, sorry, I thought you were done. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. And so I feel like there's not necessarily a law, but some sort of thing put in place to make people be more motivated to vote, right. especially the younger people, like the 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 the, 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 the millennials. I can't. Yeah, the millennials. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's that's a good argument. I and like I feel definitely. like within our generation, we're gonna be voting even less. Like it's gonna drop like super fast. Yeah. That's that's my that's my half. Okay, my well, cents. I'm gonna give my two cents on this. First of all, I think you're racist. No, I'm just kidding. Second, okay, so I think I don't know. I feel like my issue with this, especially, is that a lot of people are pretty quick to hate our president for a lot of things. I'm not necessarily saying I'm pro or anti Donald Trump, right? But a lot of people had to get mad at him for like I like like I mean just based on like like videos I've watched and like you know mm -hmm. like I mean the best access I had to people's uh, anti whatever opinions is YouTube. So yeah. um, that being said. I've noticed this big, like, kind of, like, st style of hatred towards our president. Or towards just our government in general. Yeah. And, and usually usually they say the president, but they don't really realize the president doesn't have control over certain things. And they kind of just use the president as, like, a big stance on something. But mm -hmm. I think a lot of people like to complain about our president for issues that they don't know that can basically only be solved locally. Like, they'll yeah. be like, oh, blank, blank, and our area is terrible. Why can't Trump fix this all over the nation? Because it's not his job specifically to fix your area. That's where you should go to, like, and local leaders. It's, also, local it's leaders. also taken widely out of context. Like, yeah. stuff, like the old meme, you know, the small loan of a million dollars. I was, I actually did a little bit of research, and a loan of a million dollars is not, not that not, much. Yeah, especially big... not when he's trying to make an international corporation. Yeah, like yeah, exa yeah. exactly. Obviously, it turned out good for him. Cause, yeah, because you know, he's filled... one of the richest. He's a billionaire. Yeah. But, um,. <laughs> Other than him not having any law like degrees or any law practice, yeah. I that's my only like just that's the only thing I don't like about him as of right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I know that mostly in podcasts you're not supposed to get political on your side of the story or whatever, but yeah. <clears throat> I wasn't a big fan of what he did in Syria. I mean, I understand it had to be done or whatever for whatever reason. I'm not. I didn't do a bunch of research, but I didn't really feel like it was necessary to drop a Moab. Yeah. I mean, he could have done it in a little bit smaller scale, just in case for any outside. Well, he kind of did, and then people got more pissed. At him. I mean, he did the, the yeah, tomahawk strikes, and they got the tomahawk pissed. strikes. Yeah, but that was for a different reason. Tomahawk strikes actually agreed with because it was he was aiming for certain things, or not he exactly, but the the mission was to destroy a a field that had the gas stuff in it. So they they didn't want to hit it with Moab because that not, that might not get it all. With the fifty two tomahawk missiles, they got um all the planes and all the, the bunkers and stuff. Yeah. And so 
I thought that was I thought that was okay, but the Moab was a little much. Well, I think it's interesting how you feel that, because like the majority of the opinions the opposite way. Like most people who really hated Trump, like really disliked the Tomahawk missiles, but generally his Moab bomb, like I say generally, because it's like a majority, but not like a huge amount of people, mm -hmm. generally feel more justified by the Moab strike because it was directly on a base, and not well, yeah, just, I, yeah. I mean, I I'm not arguing that, for them, but, but I'm just making that point out. I understand that, but I mean, I just don't. I felt like the mob was a little much. Like he was a little, like he was flexing his muscles a little bit too much. Well, what do you think would have been the proper response for the base then? I feel like instead of a Moab, it should have been something a little bit smaller, or maybe two of something a little bit smaller, just so it wouldn't be like he. It's this is like if you went to a race and you had a really really nice car and the other person had a really crappy car, you purposely brought your really nice car. Just so you could destroy the other person. I get you it. Bought, I get it. We don't, we don't want to make brought... ISIS feel bad because they don't have any. No, I mean, obviously, yes, you gotta make them feel. You gotta like show them your dominance. But hasn't America shown us, shown everyone enough dominance over the last eighty years since World War Two? I guess, but I mean, they're still trying to bomb us. I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, that, but that, they're targeting <laughs> yeah. Britain right now. Yeah, and honestly, Britain's fucking asking for it at this point. Yeah, they're, they're just they're be, they're they're. they're I'm, okay, you know that's not that's not even true. Britain as a whole is obviously not for anything like that. But I think that they're kind yeah. of. I don't want to say like reaping what they sow because it really wasn't the majority of people like kind of like in America don't really vote there. They just kind of like try to live their mm -hmm. lives. But the, I don't know. I feel like maybe they made a bad choice political for their leader right now. I feel like he's kind of a, I don't want to say sympathizer, but I feel like he's just not taking the proper, like they just now, not taking they just now got on a travel ban. And I know people, yeah. people still don't like it, but I mean, Jesus Christ, like, for what's been going just, on, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I remember like when Ariana Grande got all pissed at Trump for like proposing like that, um, that, uh, the, the travel ban. And she was like, mm -hmm. I remember her, te her quote was like, I hate America and I hate Americans. I can't believe you've done this. Blah, blah, blah. They're people too. And then she goes to Europe and 22 people die at her concert. And she's like, I have no words. And then guess what? Europe puts own, puts up their own travel ban. And she doesn't say mm -hmm. shit because she can't because she's wrong. It's just, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a good idea. Yeah. And I don't understand where this hate is coming from. Like we're all this pro, like illegal immigrant. I don't know, dude. I think people like to ignore what like actually happened with immigrants. Like, you know, like that whole like saying where it's like we're all immigrants in America. You know, everyone just used to immigrate all the time, yeah. but that was still legal. Like the majority of it was regulated by the government. It wasn't like the Irish people just walked in and we were like, and "Welcome." Plus, <laughs> we don't know this kind of thing because we don't have thousands of miles of unexplored land yet. Like, yeah, yeah. We've our, we've we've found all the land we can on the whole planet. Well, not to, well, like, th that wasn't it's, too related to this portion. I'm talking, like, 1960s, whenever this was happening. But still, yeah, that's also related, like, you know, this... Oh, yeah. I thought you meant... No, 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 yeah, not, like, not, not colonial with stuff. With all the people coming in back then. Yeah. Not colonial, okay, I thought that's what you're talking about. Also, the, um, the, the Kabul Irish. and all the Afghanistan bombings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the... Everyone's complaining, like, obviously, we don't live in Afghanistan, so we don't know what's currently going on. Yeah. But, the, the it, there's 150 dead. Including. Yeah. Because of the bomb. Which... I think like I read this chart. It was like since since, since like Ramadan has started, like four hundred fifty like six people have died, and that was like the second yeah. day in. It was ridiculous. And it's honestly, I don't mean to sound insensitive, but we should be more worried about that. The hundred fifty. Wait a that second. Died. This wasn't our fucking topic. Our topic was voter participation. Yeah, I know. We slowly. Okay, we're gonna. I'll close I just want to finish this. It's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to sound insensitive, but I feel That's like. Fine. What happened in Kabul should be taken more seriously than what happened in Manchester, because people that, that what happened in Manchester was 22 people died. Yeah. Or just, like something under 30. Also, this not, one, it wasn't it wasn't even inside of an Islamic country, but this one was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is at 150, and we're not taking it nearly as seriously. Yeah. All right, let's see the next topic. Okay, we're next. Going, well, that going. To... <laughs> yeah. We took the longest on a topic we didn't even choose. Okay, yeah, right. so let's see what we got here. Okay, say spin that wheel, please. <clears throat> Spin that wheel. Okay, wheel is spinning. Ooh, ooh, what is, what is it gonna be? It is. Oh, all right, that's cool, I guess. You. <laughs> what is it? No, I'm gonna spin it again. Cause we just, right, we just, well, what, it, what it, was, it, it was no joke. It was terrorism. I'm gonna spin again. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. we've already covered that. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> ooh. Okay, this one. Ooh, you wanna hear this one, buddy? Yeah. Campaign outreach and strategy. You want to skip this one? Campaign outreach and strategy. You know, actually, this could be interesting. I have a topic I could start with if you don't like really feel comfortable with starting with this one. Campaign outreach. Like, like, like how, like how, like campaigns, like of the president, for instance, reach out to certain groups of people. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I, I want to start with this one, because I actually have a pretty... I think I have a somewhat developed uh, idea on this one. You can I do hope. your developed thing, but I don't have much knowledge. That's fine, that's fine. I'll just bring this up. Doing. I just, I know he just did the thing where he went to Saudi Arabia or something. Well, he did that too, but that, that that's after the campaign, so I wouldn't worry about that. But, um... Yeah. Okay, so during the campaign... I'm gonna call it a stereotype, because I don't think it was all that legit. But wh who apparently hated Trump the most race-wise? Uh, Mexican people. The Mexicans and the blacks, apparently, right? Like, like you know, no one, no one who was black or Mexican could like Trump because they were racist, right? Like that was the whole point. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, pretty quick, I, I could argue that, that that's that they, that's based on nothing really. Like I still think I, there's a lot of things I don't like about Donald Trump. A lot of things I like about him, but I'm not gonna call him racist because he's really not. Um, mm -hmm. He's not at all. Like I think it's ridiculous. People still hold to that. I mean, if someone's like, you know, he's not very well coordinated. He's probably not qualified. I'd be like, yeah, you know what? You're probably right, but. He's if he's racist, I have to disagree with you. So there was this chick. Now I this I get all these I get a lot of my political opinions and a lot of political 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 development by I do power washing as like a chore that I use to like raise money for things. And so I have like mm -hmm. two and a half hours to listen to stuff and music kinda gets boring, so I listen to conversations. And there was this woman, I know she recently had a speech issue, uh let me just look her up real quick. She was if I name if I name her, uh You'll definitely recognize her name. One second. Um, what's her name? I'm sorry, I'm blanking on this. My bad. Um, this might be her. One second. Uh, oh wait, I have no idea who the hell I'm talking about because I forgot her name. Well, whatever. She was a politician. Uh, well, she became a politician. She was an apprentice for Donald Trump and his stuff for like I think it was like two and a half seasons or three seasons. Mm -hmm. And she and she became she came to know him very well. And so she decided whenever he ran for president that she was going to back him up. I think – I want to say she was an outreach manager, and then that's, that's why she was talking about this subject. Yeah. Um, and she's this blonde lady, very cool. I think she's very very well structured on her political opinion. So she's interesting to listen to because everything she talks about seems well-rounded. So she's – that's kind of why I listen to her. Anyway, so mm -hmm. – um, uh, the thing is, she was on this show, and she, and she was talking with, like, this big group. Oh, she's that chick! You, you've definitely seen her. Donald Trump compilations, when she, when they're like, who's going to win the presidency? She, she's like, as of right now, Donald Trump. And everyone starts laughing at her, right? Have you seen that one? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's that chick. It's it's her. I, don't, I need to know her name, though. That's not good. Um, so it was it was exactly her. She brought that up again on a different show, and people were like, He's like, like, he's not like. What do you think about him not doing anything to like reach out to blacks and Latinos, just pushing them away? And mm -hmm. she made this really good point about how, like, because you know she was apprenticed to him for it's like I want to say it was like three seasons, probably more actually. Um, and she's like, I know for a fact that the last thing he does is discriminate with his on his employees that you know work for him. He definitely hires despite race, and he's like, you can go to Trump uh -huh. Tower and tell you prove me prove me right. Uh, and he's had like, and she was like head of outreach, and she would talk about how like she like. How they spent like so much money just trying to like get to the black to the black and Latino community just so they could like listen, and a lot of them do. Like there's a large portion of Latin Latin Americans and black people who do listen and do want to yeah. be part of Trump's party. And so I don't know. Like I don't really know how to like talk about the outreach all that much because honestly I don't know enough about it. But I do know for a fact that someone very well, very well rounded and someone who knows their shit was put on top of it and they tried. And there's like this really big thing that's like still kind of like lingering amongst. I don't want to say the left because it's not really just the left, which is the general anti-Trump, you know, pop population is that he's somehow like racist or didn't really try to get them, but he mm -hmm. did. And uh, I think generally it goes the same though, like off of Trump, it goes the same every year, like every single time we have an election, sorry, every election here, um, you know, someone's always not outre outreaching to someone, but the truth is that those people usually just don't want to listen. I don't think mm -hmm. there's ever really been a, a successful president who's ran and won a campaign who hasn't outreached to every single group. Because if they wouldn't, it'd be a mistake. And so I think if someone says they aren't outreaching enough, I'm like, maybe. But if you say they aren't outreaching at all, I'm going to have to say no. So, you know, that's that's yeah. Yeah, that's my opinion. It's not like it's not huge, but it's enough, I think, to justify my argument, hopefully. Mm -hmm. and, See, uh, I'm not yeah. I'm not super educated on that topic, so I, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. So that's I'm fine. Sound stupid. I found something interesting, though. Oh, yeah. One, two... <sighs> oh, I'm looking at the news right now. Yeah. What? Uh, The general election for the UK is coming to an end. Hmm. I don't know what they're voting for. <laughs> Uh, Prime Minister? Maybe? I don't know. Do you want to spin? Oh shit! Do you want to spin the wheel and then try a new topic? Spin the wheel. See, say it right. I can't say spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. 
No, you're saying it wrong. What? That's how you. That's how I heard it. Spin dat wheel. Come oh, on. Oh, spin dat wheel. Sorry. Thank you, Jesus. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Ooh, interesting. Interesting topic. Mm -hmm. Birth rate and fertility. Uh, in general. I suppose. Do you want to or... try to address this one? Do you want to um... skip it? I mean, there's not really much to talk about. I mean, I know that some countries, like Japan, I think... Which I'm going there, by the way. That, that'll be fun. I'm going to make vlogs of that, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, I'm I going to see I'm going to be there for three weeks, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see some cool stuff. I'll make vlogs. Um, what do you call it? Mic bump. Uh, I know Japan, for instance, is having like a smaller... Like like, like their uh, population and birth... Sorry, their birth rate is declining. Uh, fertility's mm -hmm. not, I know that, but, uh, yeah, birth rate is declining, not sharply, but moderately, and they're like, oh, we need to get the youth into having sex, and I'm like, oh, that shouldn't be too tough, so. <laughs> no, I mean, I know that there's obviously, it's obviously more complex than that, I know that was a joke. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah, that's all, that's all I got, buddy. There's not really much to talk about. Yeah, okay, cool, let's, uh, you say it. Spin that wheel. Thank you. Woo! Spinning that wheel, dog. Whoa! 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 This whoa. one, this one, cool? this one will put us in a, in a, in a twist, in a, okay. in, a, in, a, in a Oliver twist. Have you? <laughs> okay. What is it? Mormons and Mormonism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I don't know anything about this topic at all. I know that like I watched a really oh. funny South Park episode about them, about the Mormons. Are they the people that come and knock on your door? Yeah, they're so nice. They're so nice. Yeah, which it's off. It's <laughs> off putting though. But I mean, I guess that's how what I'm you should do. To be is so. mo <laughs> what you should do is um, when Mormons come and knock on your door, they say, "Hey, can I tell you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ?" Not Jesus, I'm just messing around, but Jesus Christ. But what you do is you say, can I tell you about our Lord and Savior, Allah? It usually gets them to go away. Good point. I should terrorize them. <laughs> good yeah. Idea. good idea, buddy. Um, <laughs> <So do. laughs> well, my, okay, so I don't have a huge outlook on Mormonism, honestly. I mean, I mean just... like, I just, know, I just know there's a South Park episode that made this point where it was like, the history of Mormonism is like this guy. I don't want to call him John Smith, but that's an easy name. John Smith, like... He was like, oh, I went to this cave and I found these, there was an angel there who made me sit at the, at the hill for like three days and memorize all of like, 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 like the entire Bible, right? Like I like the new Bible. And then mm -hmm. he gave me a bag of golden tablets that only I can look into. And if you look into the bag, you'll die. And he's like, so this bag of golden tablets, I'm, I'm going to read to you this new Bible. And he got his friend and he sat him down. He's like, I'm going to look into this bag. I'm going to read off what they're saying. You write it down. And that's how they made the Book of Mormon. And then it was like the guy who who copied down what he said, took it to his wife and was like, "Oh, like it's crazy! Like he made this whole new like like the religion is like I don't know what I don't know what the fuck he said. He was like, this is crazy! It's like it has all of our answers, has all these new things we need to think about." And then the woman like was like, "This is garbage! Like like the Bible is the only Bible we need." You know, that sounds kind of odd. But then mm -hmm. she threw it and she like destroyed it somehow. And he was like, "Oh my god! Like you know, you destroyed it." And she's like, "Well, it won't matter because." Like, if you go to him tomorrow, he'll still have the tablet, so you can just root copy it again. And he's like, I guess you're right, you know? And so he's mad at her, but he goes to, like, the guy the next day, and he's like, yeah, she burnt the book. And he's like, oh, my God, he's serious? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, crap. And then he's like, oh, well, you can just copy it down again, right? And he's like, I'm so mad I had to run to my room. And then he came out later, he's like, I have a brand new book. <laughs> and it was like... I mean, I know it was like mostly like like a sarcastic thing, but I legitimately yeah, yeah, yeah. think that actually happened. Like, mm -hmm. like I mean, when it comes to like religion, I gotta say like the only people I can think of that are like honestly like usually like like left out of like the more like action packed things are the Jews. Like, there's Jewish characters, but like usually it's like just Jesus like and like above. Yeah. It's usually like never like just straight up God. Usually, all all religions get a get a punched at least once. And so um. Yeah. Equal if equals uh. Races or not? What's the? What does he say? Uh, our God, our Lord and Savior, filthy Frank. What did he say? He's he hates everyone or something like that. Yeah, so like like right. everyone, everyone gets like like the same yeah. chance to get to get bullied. And yeah. so like I know like maybe there's like a chance that isn't what actually happened, but I think it's like based off enough reality that we can actually consider it a little ridiculous. I'll have to mm -hmm. look it up actually. I have internet right here. So right now I'm looking at uh, the the charts of how many Mormons there were from the 1960s to 2009. Yeah. So. 
In North Africa in 1960, there were zero Mormons. Yeah. In 1990, there were zero Mormons. In 2009, <laughs> there were zero Mormons. There's not a single Mormon in North Africa. Huh. In the Middle East, there's 1,134. America has – or North uh, North America, sorry, has 6,000 – Oh! 6,261,000. Dude, I was right. His name was Joseph Smith. I called him John Smith. That was close. Oh. So, okay, Joseph Smith reported having – living upstate New York in 1923. Yeah, okay, Smith said an angel directed him to a buried book written, written on golden plates containing the religious history of, the, of an ancient people. Smith published what he said was a translation of these plates on March 19, 1830 as the Book of Mormon, named after Mormon, the ancient prophet, historian who compiled the book. On April 6, 1930, Smith founded the Church of Christ. The early church grew westward as Smith sent missionaries to uh, proselyte? proselytes? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. proselyte, proselyte, proselytize, thank you. Uh, in 1931, the church moved to Ohio, where missionaries made a large number of converts. Smith began establishing outposts in Missouri. Uh, Mormons purchased a small town of commerce, converted the swamp land to the banks of the Missouri. Huh, like I said, a pretty huge... Oh, they're pretty impactful. Interesting. So, I like how educational our podcast is. I know, right? So... I guess I'm kind of right. I don't know about. I guess the book thing and the destruction may not have happened, but I know that I knew the beginning was yeah. generally correct. Oh my god, Africa is just completely white as of 2015. Just no Mormons there. There could be at least five. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on vacation to Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. Well, that I don't know if you have, if you have anything else to add. Feel free. That's all I got. Not really. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. You want to spin that wheel? Spin that wheel. This will be our last topic, then we'll try to go to the next segment. So, all right. Okay. Hmm. This one seems kind of eh. Home, what is it? home ownership. Oh, eh, skip, skip it. That. That's yeah, boring. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You want to do E three twenty seventeen? No, no, one second. Uh. Okay. okay this one's uh, it's uh it's online video. Online video? Yeah, that's the topic. Online video. Or videos. It's so, mean... so broad. Let's give it one more shot. One more shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about whatever this is? It's very broad. <gasps> Yo, my boy! What is it? Donald J. Trump. <laughs> oh, we already talked about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. One more time. Last time. All right, last Spinning time. that wheel real quick. Okay. Uh... This one's interesting. Energy and environment. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I had to do a project on this during school. I feel like we all had to do a project on this during school. Oh, uh, in my uh, in my architecture class, I had to build an energy efficient house. Hmm. Uh, it was called like an earth berm house or something like that. All right. Yeah. Earth berm homes. Yeah, they're like they're like hobbit houses, but they're like normal sized <laughs> houses. They're like normal sized houses built in like hills and stuff. That's kind of cool. And what the the dirt on the top does is it seals in the cold whenever you have the AC going, so you don't have to use the AC as much. Yeah. And it's and it um keeps out the what's it called? The bunker. It makes knows. it warm. It, it yeah, it's like a bunker, and it keeps it warm during the uh, winter hmm. because and it uses your body heat. It's so. Little, huh. Yeah. So the so like like the Hobbit house is like straight from like the scrolls of of the Lord of the yeah, Rings. Yeah, they're like super futuristic Hobbit houses, but they're like normal size for normal people. Huh. And most of the time, what they'll do is it's not even like underground. It's just a house that has like a garden on top of it. As I say, like some kind of like that's actually an interesting idea. It's like yeah, it's it's, it's insulated enough to where the only thing you really need is something to cool it off. You be heating it up, which is obviously the most expensive part of the AC of I mean of the air unit is mm -hmm. done by the earth. That is interesting. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh and wow! Also, hmm. And also, uh, yeah, architecture. You learn a thing or two. Yeah. And um, what happens is like. Uh, one second. I'm trying to find a good picture. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. And what? And the sun rays. Oh, that's what. Uh, when it warms up, the sun rays go through the windows and warm it up, not your body heat. That's what it is. Oh, that's that's kind of lit, dude. Yeah, and that's you can cool. also put, you can also put like um solar panels on top. Like we had to build like a, a model. Like me and my friend Santino, we had to build a model out of uh this foam stuff. Yeah. Like like foam board. And we built an earth berm house. And we even went out, like, during class, we went outside, got dirt, and we glued it onto the top. Huh. And it was really cool. 
I just sounds like that's actually, that's actually like very interesting. Yeah, right. It's just such a, like a neat little thing. Like I swear, like the way like I think humanity is working right now is like we have all these problems and there's like these really like simple like like rudimental ways to solve all of them, but we just don't know them. Yeah, right. Yeah, like honestly, like like that would be cool. Imagine like a neighborhood just being like hills. Mm -hmm. That would be so cool. It's kind of like in Sweden, just actually since we're on this topic, uh, I think it's Sweden. They were having, like, they don't like it whenever their nature gets killed by cars, like whenever the animals get killed mm -hmm. by cars. So they built overpasses that are just woods. Like, that's like any North European country. They, do, they, do they all do that? That's cool. Pretty man. much. Yeah, that's, pretty that's much. So, that's such a neat little idea. In, in Holland, it costs, uh, it pretty much costs way more than it should to have a car. Yeah. So in Holland, everyone bikes everywhere. Huh. Yeah, like in Holland's small anyways. So yeah, it was not very Everything's country. pretty close. Yeah. And plus everyone in Holland lives in Amsterdam, so <laughs> <laughs> I all right, mean, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um The only thing that defeats the purpose of earthworm homes is when people put uh pools in them because the pools will mess with the heat and the, huh. the heating and the cooling. Yeah, pool houses are overrated. Like, I, I mean, I'm just saying this because I have, like, a lot of relatives that have pools at their houses. It's cool, but after a while, it's just, like, yeah, I don't know. The pool is, like, yeah. it's, like, a once... I don't know. The po pools are fun, but I feel like if I could walk to, like, a relatively clean lake, I'd rather do that. Which I can, actually. There's a large lake nearby my house. The which, pond which near my house in, is, yeah. like, really dirty and gross. Well, I have, like, I have, like, a decent lake nearby that you can swim in according to the signs, so... Like, at the center of, the center of every neighborhood, you could have, like, a little spot that had, like, a bench and lake and that would, oh that'd be lit okay well uh you want to cut off the topics or you want to give one more uh we can do one more I think all right time. all right all right that's cool that's cool spinning that, that wheel, wheel. yeah oh, okay this one's a this one's a little bit more i think i, I don't know maybe a little bit more uh up our alley one mm -hmm. could one could say global balance of power Ooh, i like that i know right very interesting topic. Um, oh, I yeah. feel like a lot of that's being solved with stuff like NATO and okay, um, and the Warsaw Pact. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Warsaw Pact. We got to get that communism. Yep, we got to get rid of it. But um, usually the balance of power between countries is usually dependent on their money, or yeah. their GDP, whatever. If you want to be politically correct. Yeah. Or uh, PC. Uh huh. Um. And most of the time, like, people are thinking that America is the number one country in the world. It's really, honestly, it's, it's not. It, it's, like, top five. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Uh, like, the top three, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, honestly, it's... I feel like the... Uh, I mean, the global balance of power... I feel like in the state of everything, how it's going on right now... Yeah. I feel like America's being overhyped with all the memes with Donald Trump and stuff. Yeah. And honestly, I think it's because we live in America. That might be why. Maybe. But if, say we grew up in, like, Russia or something. Mm -hmm. Like, and all we learned about was Russia. We would think, oh, America's just whatever. Yeah. But it's probably vice versa because we think, oh, Russia, Russia's just whatever. 